Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the morning episode of Toothy Trivia. I'm your host, Emma. Go ahead and get your toothbrush ready. Now it's time to make brushing your teeth for two minutes fun and easy. Are you ready? Let's go! Today's trivia theme is owls. Owls are capable of hearing prey under leaves, plants, dirt, and even snow. Many owl species have sets of ears at different heights on their heads, which lets them locate prey based on tiny differences in sound waves. Other owls have flat faces with special feathers that focus sound, essentially turning their faces into one big ear. The eyes of an owl are not true eyeballs. Instead of spherical eyeballs, owls have eye tubes that go far back into their skulls, which means their eyes are fixed in one place, so they have to turn their heads to see. The size of their eyes helps them see in the dark, and they're farsighted, which allows them to spot prey from yards away. Up close, everything is blurry, and they depend on small, hair-like feathers on their beaks and feet to feel their food. It's a myth that owls can rotate their heads 360 degrees. The birds can actually turn their necks 135 degrees in either direction, which gives them 270 degrees of total movement. A blood pooling system collects blood to power their brains and eyes when neck movement cuts off circulation. A group of owls is called a parliament. This comes from C.S. Lewis's description of a meeting of owls in the Chronicles of Narnia. A group of owls can also be called a wisdom, bazaar, or study. Baby owls are called owlets. Did you know that owls hunt other owls? Great horned owls are the top predator of the smaller baird owl. The tiniest owl in the world is the elf owl, which is five to six inches tall and weighs only one and a half ounces. It will sometimes make its home in a cactus, nesting in holes made by other animals. However, the elf owl isn't picky and will also live in trees or on telephone poles. The largest North American owl is the great gray owl, which is up to 32 inches tall. And you're done. Weren't those two minutes easy? If you like these episodes, be sure to tell your parents and dentists to subscribe to Toothy Trivia on iTunes, Google Play, or Stitcher. We can also be found as Toothy Trivia on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.